Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. This video is to help you set up a wing model on your Jumper T16. I've used both the on the radio method and using OpenTX Companion. Let's open up my backup from my Jumper T16. And then we need to add another model. So I'm going to put it under the YouTube models. So we're going to add a model. Now we are going to call this one you, whoopsie daisy, YouTube. There we go, it's a plane. Click next. Has it got a throttle? Yes. Click next. Okay, now we're going to choose the delta wing option because we are doing ailerons next. Okay, first aileron channel two. The default faults should be correct. I know they are for my channel mapping. Next, does your model have a rudder? We're going to say no. Next, uh, this is a nice option. We'll put a cut, cut all throttle in there and let's do a throttle timer. Okay, next. Okay, we can check through. Everything looks good to me. Say okay and finish. Now, we double click that model and if we go to the input and the mixes you can see the mixes there that have been set up for you automatically but let's just uh, have a look at the simulation okay we are going to click on the model button hold that down and we're going to click it again and up comes our channel monitors so there's our throttle and so this should be roll aileron there we go and this should be our elevator there we go very simple to do i can do it manually set up but why do that when you don't need to when you can use the companion to do it automatically for you but as you can see everything's working nicely there now I'll switch over and do the same thing on my jumper t16 once you have set your model up in OpenTX Companion and transferred it to your Jumper T16, you will need to check the orientation of your control surfaces. They may need adjusting, and I show you later on in this video how to do that. Let's set an Elevons model up on our Jumper T16. Now we need to click the scroll button, select model, hold the scroll button down. We are going to create a model. Now it needs to be a plane. And we're going to use the page down button. Yes, it's got a motor. Now, on this section, we need to say the number of ailerons on the model is going to be two. And then we're going to move down to the channels. Now, the channel mapping that I'm going to use is two and four. Your channel mapping may be different, but I need to change that to be the elevator channel which is two and the aileron channel that is four so you would need to change that to match up with your channel mapping okay we go page down no flaps now in here we have to be careful what we choose now we need to choose two two elevators with one rudder the run the rudder we're not going to use so we click the scroll button we're going to change the channels here. That is going to be two. This has to be changed to one. And the bottom one has to be changed to four. As you can see there, you've got the... Oops, a daisy. You can see there, channel two is my elevator. Channel four is the aileron. And the channel one is the rudder. But we're not going to use that, but we need to set that. Okay, so we go page down and then we can click and then say, yes, everything's okay. There we go. Now we've got the model. So now we need to edit this model. So we're going to go into model and we would change the name. So we're going to move along until we get to the mixes. Now, the problem here is that the the control surfaces on your fixed wing won't move correctly. Now, this will depend on your model setup. 
and how the servos are set up, which way orientation they're put in the wing. But with the setup that I used, I, I need to change the first elevator. So we click, oops a daisy, click and edit. And this weighting has to be a minus figure. Be minus 100. Oops a daisy. Okay, then return. And the next one I need to adjust is the aileron. And we're going to edit again. And I've got to make that into a minus. So as I just said, this will depend on your model setup. So all you need to do is bind your receiver and then actuate the control surfaces. But I know that will work completely on my model so that I would get the correct orientation of the uh, control surfaces but you may need to just check those weightings whether they need to be plus or minus depending on your model. Let me show you on the model what the problem was with the orientation of the control surfaces when I just used the stock settings that came up with the standard model. So I'm now actuating the elevator and you'll see it's acting like ailerons. And then I'm going to go to my aileron stick and you'll see now they're acting like elevators. So that's the easy way to adjust that is just how I showed you. I'm going to do it now. Now I've changed the elevator weight to minus 100. I'm going to move down to the aileron one that I showed you and do the same. Okay, there we go. So now we should be okay. Let's actuate the elevator. There we go, elevator up, elevator down. And we want to roll, roll right, roll left. And there we go. Thanks for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel. And please share this video with your friends. And if you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I really would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now. Disarm motor.